Okay, good day, paint pouring community. I'm going to do um, a little video on a, a round um, with some leftover paints. I'll say I'm always leftover paints. And then the next video I'll do is some mixing up some paints with consistencies and I may do some um, custom colours. Okay, this is a, just an MDF round I think they're 35 by 35 centimeters I think so um, doesn't actually say on it but you can use these as um, I mean the three dollars fifty so cheaper than a canvas but really good if you want to make your own placemats personal placemats or you want to do a clock where you just drill in the center and put your fitment in after if you wanted a um, so on the back, I've obviously poured on this one before and washed it off, um, but yeah, on the back is just this wood effect and it's already pre-painted on that side. So for the sake of the video today, I will um, pour this little thing. Now it's over, le complete leftovers again, so I've got some burnt umber, turquoise, sienna, purple, I have got this what or yellow, not sure. I might put it in a little teeny bit. And I've got this just a full cup of, well, it was black navy. It is supposed to be navy, but it's turned out quite black. So it's just getting rid of these colors. Um, so let's get started. Okay, I'll get rid of the sienna first. I'm going to do a swipe on this one and I'll do it down the centre of outwards. Um, so you can basically, oh, what I'll do is yeah, do my zigzaggy snaky pour over it. As I've said in many of my videos before, doing it um, this way of pouring, this is how you get different results in your look every time because you're not you know, you're not layering the same colours over the same colours um, because it's random. So I get different looks in this one down from, um, you know, like it can be quite whimsical. It can create all sorts of looks in your canvas. It can look like um, dragonflies or somebody, one of my ones I've put on recently. See now, I should use that last little bit, even if it's to pour it off, yeah, because this paint's been done cut for a few days. Yeah, so this is just an interesting way to be assured that you'll get a different outcome in, in the way that things that uh, appear in your look in the canvas. So I'm going to put the, it doesn't look, that was the burnt sienna and burnt umbra, and I'm going to put this turquoise in. See, this will just lift all of those um, earthy colours. The turquoise, but I certainly have got more, a lot more paint than I need, so I don't want to go high. Yeah, I've got this bit of purple, crimson. I'm going to just put a little bit in. She says. <laughs> Oh dear, can't help myself. I really don't feel that I should put that in at all. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to restrain myself, even though it does need using up. So I'd give this a tilt before I put this white colour on. So I'll just make sure the whole of my canvas is going to be covered in paint. If you want to keep the bottom of your MDF or if it's canvas nice and clean, just tape it underneath. Um, I'm not too worried about this because I may just, if it comes out absolutely beautiful, I'll um, certainly give it a coat of something nice and um, keep it or sell it. But sometimes I do use these rounds as... Um, just pouring, pouring on for technique and seeing how they come up because they're nice, sort of firm. 
nice and firm so you haven't got to worry about them warping or anything so just finger dab around the outside just make sure your paints covered all the way around don't stress about it okay I'm just gonna wash my hands and um, you can watch that develop before your eyes It's Sunday, Sunday afternoon here in Australia. It's, a, it's um, been a gorgeous day for a winter's day. Absolutely beautiful. So, okay. I'm going to, like I said, this does look black on the, but it's supposed to be a black navy, but I'm gonna pour this down the center of the round so I'm really hoping I can create my jilly clusters in this. Um, this I've said on previous videos, this batch, batch of paints that I mixed up, just something was off in it that didn't, that sort of created all sorts of weird things happening like different shape cells and, but anyway, um, coming to the end of it now so just when you're doing a round just very carefully drop your swipe tool which uh, my favorite one is this um, plastic vial divider which you've got you just reuse and reuse I know people are telling me oh they've used a wet paper towel and oh just get one of these it is so good to swipe with they come in a pack of like 10 or six dollars or something I just cut the tab off so it hasn't got the extra tab because it was a file divider and I just I don't use that surrogated side obviously I could cut that straight and use it but I just use the straight edge so no big deal just drop about a centimeter in out to you oh, already these cells are coming up okay this is looking quite dramatic there you go you've got a a moon a moon yeah the cells are coming up I probably could have used a lot less of my swipe color um, I think it's going to look really nice when it comes up now let's try this torch again everything i've been having trouble with this week my torch just seems to not want to play nicely the paint i've been mixing so i don't know what's going on but anyway i'll try this torch it's i'm going to try and do the jilly clusters where i go straight down on it it's not yeah it keeps going up and might have a blockage somewhere <laughs> in the paint, in the um, gas cylinder, I'm not sure. It's not reacting the same as what it normally does. Even the paint, so, see, it must be this black, I think. I'm getting, see, there's all different sorts of shapes, not my round clusters, like I'm getting triangles and stars. Probably really good if you want it to look like a moon or galaxy or I'm not going oh she said she's not going to touch it again okay it's definitely my paint that's creating some of these weird and I don't know oh, some people have said they're wonderful um, I've got stars again and I've got squares and I've got triangles I have got some nice cells but I've also got these stars which is quite bizarre I've got a heart shape weird weird things happening anyway it does look quite nice it does look quite nice I will just leave that to develop now just doing that simple pour like that leaving it because the paint isn't overly thick 
trying to consistent even though I haven't used this I'm trying to show you the consistency because I get asked it so often is like pouring cream it this particular one isn't making any mound or anything because this I've done this whole batch runnier because I wanted the cells to start to stretch and what I like about it is when you do a swipe and they stretch into one another, um, they put the outline of the black, or it's supposed to be navy, around the cells when they stretch out. And I really like that for this particular kind of painting anyway. So, yeah, that's interesting. I'll post some photos because I'll let it uh, stretch out for a, a little while and then I'll uh, take some photographs as it's drying and um, let you see it. I might even, for the sake of it, give it a balloon dip. I'll tell you what, we'll give it one balloon dip. Maybe two. For anybody that would like to just leave it like that, that's absolutely fine. But for the people that want to balloon kiss it, this is what I normally do. So I'll just show you, just Press it in, take it out. So if you've got colours underneath, this is what creates the, brings the other colours up. You see, it's coming up. So just give it a few balloon kisses. Ew, that's nice. Very nice. A few more. Anyway, I'm going to leave that because I would prefer to leave that for the paint to dry a little bit. And I get asked, how long do you normally leave it for? Depending on whether you're in a hot country or a cool country. Obviously, if it's a lot hotter, you might get humidity and that it might go sticky really quick. So drying quick but sticky, then you need to probably put your balloon on it within half an hour. If it's quite cool... So I'm not sure if really cold because I haven't, don't have really cold where I'm living in Queensland. So I'm um, not sure about that one. But normally, you know, within, try balloon it half an hour. If it's still absolutely covered in paint and the paint all falls back in, just leave it a little bit longer. But obviously don't leave it that long that when you press it, it's all sticky and comes off on your balloon because then you've actually gone too far so that's not too bad at all um, nice little pour on a round which a lot of people I'll try and get it closer okay oh I'm so crap with this video in thing anyway I'll post some photos please subscribe to my channel it's free and thank you very much for watching I appreciate it very much and hope that it's helped somebody. See you next time.